seven things you see in Yellowstone by extras and let's go. So we're flying from Chicago to Bozeman. Coming from the north, the first town you hit is Gartner. We are going to have dinner. There are a few food trucks and restaurants, but they close pretty early. That's a bar we like, overlooking the river during sunset. Oh, and there was a family of otters too. We'll put a link of all the places we've been in the description below. Good morning! We are in Montana! Look at the mountain! So nice! <laughs> are we going today? We are going to Yellowstone today! Let's go! Next morning, we got into the park bright and early. At the first stop, you see all these elks just walking around freely. What's this called? Mama Hot Spring. Mama Hot Spring. The rock formations and the different colors caused by bacteria make this really unique. Mm -hmm. We got here pretty late, so it can get really crowded. You feel like the tour? Smash that like! <laughs> Smash that like and subscribe. Before I forget, during the entire journey, we were using the Gypsy Guide app. It's about 10 bucks, but it gives you an audio tour while you drive. And it covers a lot of other national parks as well. On to the next one. Lorry Sky to a basin. Basin? It's constantly letting hot gas out and it really, really smells. <laughs> Sulfur. Number four. And right next to this, it's our favorite stop. Here's the first alternative. Fairy trail. Fairy falls. Fairy falls. It's right next to the Grand Prismatic and it's only an hour walk. One hour later. We stopped for lunch, rest our feet, took some photos. And for wow. a long period of time, we had the waterfall all to ourselves. Number 5. We are all faithful. Most people come to see this. You can tell it's about to blow based on how crowded it is. This is during the eruption. And this is after. There are other things to see here too.
Apparently the Grand Geyser's eruption is the tallest in the world, but it's so unpredictable so we didn't get to see it. Not really a stop, but alternative number two. Welcome to my Airbnb. 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 Rent a nice place to stay and uh, rest for a day. You wanna show us around? Sure. We found this nice A-frame for really low price. The bathrooms were super clean, and the kitchen was really well equipped. And that's a really nice bakery next door too. Overall, we give it a 1 out of 1 thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs, number 6. Geyser. Geyser. Did you just make up the name? Water's going to the lake. At the Yellowstone Lake. We chose to stop by West Thumb. We took it really slow and just walked around the lake. White, blue, and yellow over there, and red as well. Can you see green? Oh, great. Okay. We're at Grand Canyon of Yellowstone and uh, Artist Point. See <laughs> the waterfall over there? We're just down the road. Number 8, the Mar Valley. Honestly, the best way to see wildlife is just to drive around. We're at La Mar Valley <laughs> to see bison. This is my new Pokemon, bison. All the people watching the bison there. They're still pretty far away, so we just hung around the river. Alternative number three, white water rafting. Ready. We haven't done this before, so we tried something else. I definitely recommend you try something harder. <laughs> Alternative number four. Yellowstone Hot Spring. <laughs> we just relaxed and recharged, so we didn't really take any videos or pictures here. <laughs> Alternative number five, an alpaca farm. <laughs>
They give a free tour and they sell a lot of alpaca stuff. Alpacas are cute. Don't like this video. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye.